This land has a voice, and it's ready to speak. Buried by history, the treasures of the early Celtic saints are just as precious today as they were 1,500 years ago. There are more saints from Irish history and the early Celtic church than the rest of church history put together. And it's been said that the early Celtic church was most like the first century church in practice and in demonstration of supernatural power as they lived out the gospel of Christ. As we look for clues to unpack this ancient history, we leave the beaten path and familiar roads to visit the highlands and islands that hold keys to unlock Celtic mysteries. We'll discover facts and legends, stories and heroes, and learn from these remarkable warriors of the faith who changed history and transformed lives for Christ. Join me on this adventure as we unearth secrets of faith in the Celtic lands. To be a poet, or a bard, or bard, as we say in Welsh, I think is to be part of a, an ancient art form. It's integrated in the land, it's integrated in my sound, it's integrated in my community, my people. All of that's going to have an effect on the sound that I bring before the Lord. That he wants to hear your song, your culture, your heart, whatever it is that you have, he wants to hear that reflected in your worship. Full of hills and valleys that wind round in trills that rally the band of old bardic souls that rest deeply in the wells of every Welsh family. It's a sound connected to generations and that have led up to this point. But it's a sound of authenticity of who you are. 